I got more face dry food expression day uh, 2051. So this is a mountain house. I really like that brand. Looks like they have redesigned their logo or at least the style of it. So this is a few different one. Beef stroganoff with noodles. Chili mac with beef. Breakfast skillet. And biscuit and gravy. Simple instructions how to use it. Tells you how much of boiled water you have to add on. Very easy to open. It's really nice for camping. But also it will store for many many years. So in 2022 it's good till 2051 expiration day. So at least 20, 30 more years, easy. That's crazy. So you can stash it in your house and have it ready to go camping or in case there's a food shortage, you can pull out your stash, you know? So there's a, tells you two cups, one fourth. So first we're gonna put two cups. That takes a lot of water. So that's why those for camping, um, really nice boiling stoves are so important because you'll need to boil a lot of water quickly and often. So we just pour it in. That's what it's going to look like uncooked, but we want to close the Ziploc bag and leave it for five minutes. So we just wait every single one of them seems to be five minutes so we wait five minutes store and they seal and then we want to wait four more minutes after that make sure you remove this oh looks like freeze dried eggs just two cups for this one so if you have a canteen make sure your canteen when you camping have a measuring um, measurements on it so that way you can cook this ones without over doing the water or under doing it and you know what if you make it too watery it's not going to taste good so you want to mix it up make sure there's nothing dry in it um, I like how these bags don't have any corners but yeah mix it really well and then we want to do another four minutes or so wait till it cools off a little bit let me show you what's so cool about these bags like what I mean by no corners make sure it's locked all the way you see how it's like a, a bowl on the bottom over here so there is no dry food stuck in the corner so it's nice very nice design and easily standing up over here okay time to taste test everything breakfast skillet mmm looks delicious does it but yeah for some people it does if you're hungry and you're really hungry it might look delicious for you even too so yeah Eggs, smells like bacon, you know it tastes better than what I remember in the old packaging, but a lot of it tastes like um, moist bread. This freeze dried eggs, not always but sometimes feels like kind of like a moist bread. Yep, for sure. It's just very, very unique texture to it. There's pieces of meat in there, and there is even like looks like peppers and things. Mmm, peppers Sam, have some really nice flavor for sure. Yeah, definitely very unique texture to it and flavor as well. Freeze dry, obviously, it's going to taste a little different. Next, we got it here biscuit and gravy. Ooh, that's gotta be good, right? Okay, that's what it's going to look like now. Mmm. That stuff is way better than the eggs. The gravy is on point. The meat, obviously, well done. So it will be like a chew flavor to it, I mean texture to it. But flavors are so good. It goes survival food that last 30 years. Okay, there goes pasta. Lots of meat. Pretty delicious. 
I don't like the sauce. Let me get it from the bottom. Again, meat is just a little bit chewy. But then it, it's been de dehydrated, obviously. Pasta is interesting. A little bit hot, but it's delicious. Edible for sure. Okay, and then we have one more over here. Uh, beef and stroganoff. I had to I put it in a little bit later. So let's see what happens. Two more minutes, I have to wait. Okay, let's open it and mix it up. That's what it's going to look like after five minutes. And then we're gonna, after we mix it up, make sure we don't have any dry spots. We'll close it for four more minutes. All right, it's been four minutes. See what we got? Looking pretty good. Let's taste this, it's really hot. Mmm, smells pretty nice too. Okay, there's some pasta and meat. Yep, pasta really soft, but obviously meat is gonna be chewy because it's been well done and dehydrated, I guess. But it tastes delicious. So it just takes a little bit getting used to the meat. It doesn't have meat texture. It's definitely have like dehydrated texture of a meat. Mm. New packaging by Mountain House, but you know what? Food pretty much the same, tastes good. For survival, de dehydrated dry food, it's not bad. I really like it. And for the dessert, we got that here cosmic ice cream. Vanilla and cookie and cream. So just two flavor, maybe three. Uh, mint chocolate. So let's see what these things are all about. Are they broken all apart? Maybe, maybe not. I need a knife to open that. So that's what you expect for the ice creams to be, look like. Let's see if any of them are kind of stained together, not broken apart. I think they're all gonna be pretty broken. Yep. So it looks like a somewhat marshmallow. Okay, the vanilla. Mmm. Yeah, first the right marshmallow. It's like, have you ever had a really, really old marshmallow that dries up? Except tastes way better than this. You know what, if you ever had like a powder milk, it tastes like this in the like little cube form. It's very unique. It is fun to eat. What about this one? This is mint chocolate. I really don't see too much difference on the flavor. Yeah, it's all kind of the same. Tastes pretty sweet and very, very fun. Oh yeah, I can feel the aftertaste of mint. I don't like mint. It's unique for sure.